Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to Area 51. Welcome back to Forgotten Figures, episode 34. This is the show where I talk about new stuff that I've picked up, but also secondhand stuff that I've picked up at stores. And I show them to you, and uh, we always start off with the new stuff first. And uh, But this time it's a little different. We're going to start off with it new to me, but it was given to me as an A-OK. -okay. And if you've watched my channel long enough, you know how much I enjoy Wizard Magazine. Uh, my friend Mike at MTG, Merit Toys and Games, uh, got a collection in, and there was a couple of uh, Wizard Magazines still in the bags. Uh, the bags had been opened. Uh, and so the bags look like so. The bags had been opened. I wouldn't have pulled them out had the bags not been opened, but the bags were opened. And in this one was Wizard from March 1995. What a beautiful looking magazine. I sure miss these. I loved these when I had these. I so look forward to these coming in. And in that was a supplement for this little Ashcan Beavis and Butthead. And I put that on my Instagram. But uh, that is really neat when you can find one of these. I, I, I've kind of leafed through them, but I'm going to read both of these magazines. Um, I just love Wizard. I, I just wished we could get it back. And like I said, it came in a bag. The second one that I got was the June 1995 issue. with a very nice uh, cover on it. But this one had a load of stuff. Uh, it, it gave you a Sovereign 7 poster, if you so wanted so. A nice Sovereign 7 poster, uh, which is cool. It also came with this little Rage card, game card, and it's Pumpkin Man. Uh, again, I'm assuming it was some kind of game that they were trying to launch in 1995. I put it in a protective cover because it just, uh, just kind of thought it would look cool in there. Uh, but Rage, I have known nothing about the game, whether it went on. Uh, and then this beautiful um, uh, Fleer Ultra Spider-Man Premier Edition uh, uncut sheet of uh, cards. And uh, Boris Viejo has done the uh, the Black Cat. Just absolutely a beautiful thing to have. The back looks like so. Very happy to have gotten that. And then in that was kind of an ash can story. And this is um, Vengeance of Vampirella, Vampirella. And again, it is a insert uh, by the wizard people. Uh, that you kind of got it and it's got four or five uh, drawings in it but it's kind of like a, a, a digest it's a story and that came in this bag so really cool to have gotten that thank you very much Mike I appreciate it beautiful stuff to get this sure brings back some memories a little bit of awesome history uh, what can I tell you just awesome history of the whole thing I was at my dollar store and they had this on the shelf for two dollars it is the uh, 40th anniversary Star Wars, and it is a Cena story comic. Basically, it's the entire movie, but it's done like so, exactly as the movie is. So it was for two bucks. I picked it up. I thought, man, you can't go wrong for two bucks, and it's pretty thick. What the heck? Can't can't beat that. So very happy to have gotten that. Okay, let's move into the used stuff now. Uh, Mike at Mayor Toys and Games not only gave me the um, the uh, um, wizard magazines when I was cleaning up in the back I saw this in the back and this is I think from and of course I forgot to put my glasses on yeah this is from 2002 this is the Marvel Legends Iron Man the, 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 the package is destroyed I'm going to be opening this and putting this up on uh, my channel you probably will see this unboxed before you see this episode of Forgotten Figures but it's absolutely wrecked but what a beautiful Iron Man it comes with a comic in the back uh, comic 149 I think it is Yep, 149, uh, and it comes with this Iron Man, but it has a nice Stark sign behind him, and uh, unmasked Iron Man. So that was given to me again, a-ok -okay for my buddy Mike. Thank you again, Mike. I am going to open this, and uh, I am going to, I'm going to get it out of the package. I got to have a look at it. it. Looks amazing. And on the back, it shows you the other ones in the series. <laughs> the blister is just destroyed. One that I think is really cool is this Toad Man, or yeah, the Toad. Well, I sure would have liked to have gotten that one but the package is just destroyed. So we will be opening him this week and you will be seeing him. Um, went into my second hand store and usually I save this for the second hand part, but uh, picked this up and this is of course is the uh, Disney uh, figurine play set and this is uh, Captain Marvel, uh, unopened. Uh, I think I paid $6 for it. I usually don't pick this stuff up and I don't like picking up anything Captain Marvelish because I don't care for the movie, but uh, like I say, I'm probably going to be trying to flip this on eBay at some point in time. But, but I mean, it's kind of cool. It's all there. Very cool. Uh, also, um, I went to the to Walmart, and uh, they had one left. She's been there for about two years, 
and they priced her at a dollar. And of course, this is Quira from Solo. I have quite a few of these, but for a dollar, I'll take it for a dollar. I'm not going to quibble for a dollar. I'll take Quira all day long for a dollar. Uh, went to Toys R Us, and you saw that if you've watched my um, my uh, hunt video, I'll put a card up here. If you watched my hunt video, then you saw me pick up Cannonball, Marvel's Cannonball. Here he is, and he was on sale for nine dollars and ninety cents. So basically, I paid I think about eleven dollars for him. Uh, and again, uh, I have heard that they are making a set of legs for old Cannonball this year, so you can get rid of the flame if you don't want them. And this also comes with the right foot for Wendigo. Yes, the right foot for Wendigo. And on the back is the rest. You guys, I mean, this is late to the party. All you guys probably have this long ago. But at $9.90, um, I'm a buyer all day long. I won't quibble for that. Uh, then, uh, again, on that Hunt Toys R Us, and you've probably seen this already, this is my first Cobra Island. This is G.I. Joe Classified. This is Roadblock Cobra Island. Uh, first I've seen up here. We don't have a Target up here, so none of those Target exclusives make it here. My understanding, talking to the people at Toys R Us, and we still have a Toys R Us here in Canada, is that there is a little bit of an agreement between Target and Toys R Us. Some stuff that Target has comes to Canada, and some stuff that Toys R Us has goes down to Target. So uh, that's how that is. And on the back, of course, is the island itself. Very happy to have gotten this first uh, Cobra Island I've seen. Don't know if I'll see any more, and that's fine. Uh, I'm not a completist. I'm just an opportunist. If it's there, I'll buy it. Uh, then I went into my local store here and picked up this uh, beautiful, this is of course uh, Quill from number seven from The Mandalorian and uh, he was on there with four others. Now I picked him up and there's the back of the box and I'm really loving this art on the side. I think that really looks super sweet. So very happy to have found Quill. And uh, then there was also... Uh, the Dark Side Ray, uh, Ray the Dark Side version, and there she is. There, this is number one uh, for Rise of Skywalker. I mean, she was in a, the movie for a total of what, maybe a full second, but I don't know. I I, I kind of figured I had to get this one because I don't think this one's going to be around for very long. And there's the uh, art on the side of the box, and there's the back of the box. So yeah, not really. A, mm, but you just kind of had to get it, I guess, because I don't think you're going to see it for for much longer. Uh, one other thing that I started to pick up a little bit, because I've really gotten back into gaming. Um, I picked up some games, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these or if I'm going to put these out on eBay. I picked up, uh, these are second-hand games. This is Madden uh, 1989, Madden 25, 1989 to 2014 uh, for the PS3. And I picked that up uh, because I do have PS3, and I haven't played a Madden game in a long time. And I have not played this one, so I thought, you know what, I'll pick it up. I may list this, I may not, I don't know. And then I also picked up... We uh, Medal of Honor uh, Heroes 2, both are in great shape, all there. Uh, we do have a Wii as well. We have a lot of systems. Uh, so uh, I may list these. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to or not. So that is all I have for the kind of newer and bigger stuff. We're going to go now to street scenes. Of course, that's my favorite part of the whole thing. Street scenes is now where I go and show you what I picked up secondhand uh, at these uh, secondhand stores that I go to. So let's go to street scenes and have a gander at what I got. So we're going to start off with a pretty wide shot because this is a pretty big uh, piece of equipment. If you are a Halo game player, especially a Halo ODST, Orbital Drop Shock Trooper, you'll recognize this as the ODST Drop Pod. This is how uh, the Colonial Marines or the um, Spartans end up, end up uh, this is how they get to a planet. They, uh, they drop down, that little helicopter thing comes out, and they drop down in this pod. The guy in the pod is Buck from uh, the last uh, episode of Forgotten Figures and you can close this. These two doors open and this kind of goes over like so. But uh, if you're going to show it, you're probably going to show it this way with the blades out. Um, again, everything you're seeing here is used. I paid no more than $3.99 for anything here and I'm happy to have found this. It's all complete. At first I didn't know what it was. It sat, it sat around in a bag there for a couple of weeks. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to take a gamble on this and take it home. And I do have the cryo chamber that goes with this one as well. So pretty happy to get that. So let's move on to the next uh, item that I found at my secondhand store. And that right Halo now. ODST uh, drop pod was from 2012. 
just I forgot to tell you what year that's from. I tried to give you the years of these things as well. Up next is the 2017. This is called the Tommy Grimlock, and it's from the Last Night. Uh, and this is from a, um, a set called the Turbocharger set. So this is Grimlock from the Last Night movie, which was not very good. He can uh, be posed over. The one thing that is missing is his little arm on his left hand side. And now. Uh, disclaimer, when I'm buying these, a lot of the times there's pieces missing off of them. And what I like about this figure is I can show him like this, or I can pop his his helmet off and you can just see his face. So I kind of like it with the helmet down, though. I think he looks cool. So Grimlock from uh, The Last Night. Let's and here we on. have another Transformer, and this is from 2017. This is one of those uh, hero mashups, uh, mashers, or hero mashers. And this is a Transformer in its steel job. Basically, what happens is you can pull his arms off, his legs off, his head off, and you can swap it with another uh, hero masher, whether it's Transformer, um, uh, Avengers, uh, Superman, DC, whatever. You can mash them all up and make different looking characters. I don't usually pick these up, but I really like the looks of this steel jaw. I think he looks really neat. So I picked him up because I think he looks From, pretty uh, darn 1996 cool. is this animated series Pirate Joker. And he's in really good shape. I have not seen this character before. And he is, he's a six inch figure. Uh, he has very limited articulation, if any. His his legs move back and forth and his head moves and his arms move. There's nothing at the elbows, nothing at the knees. But uh, different uh, to be sure, but uh, kind of neat. I now like for you retro guys who collect Mighty Max. And what is Mighty Max? Mighty Max was the answer to the boy version of Polly Pocket. And this came out, uh, this is what's known as 1993. This is the Shark Doom Zone. And it is um, Dr. Uh, Calamus and, and uh, Mighty Max, or Max. Now, Mighty Max is a little guy who wears a hat and he goes on adventures with his hat. And you could get these little play sets. And I'm gonna open him up here, so give me a second. You can open him up and there he is, and if you open this up a little bit more, that part there, you can see Dr. Calamus there, and you can see Max. And Max has his hat on. Now, interesting story about this. Um, I picked up Dr. Calamus, Max, and the two fins that go on the side, the squid fins, on the side long ago. And when I bought this shark, it was missing all of that. So I was able to complete this set. Uh, very happy to. You don't see a lot of these around anymore. But the only thing that's missing on the Shark Doom Zone is the top fin. There should be a top fin right here. And you can kind of see it's missing. Something to look for. If I don't find it, that's fine. Very happy to have these. These. How can you tell it's a Mighty Max? Because of the double M on the top. Always look for that when you're hunting for toys. If you can find these, these do have uh, great collector value and great value. These are, because um, it's like anything else, they were instantly lost uh, almost the minute they were taken. I, I don't know how many Polly Pockets I bought my daughter and how fast we lost those pieces. So let's get on to the five last figures, and they're all Batman. So uh, Leapy and the Sprogs will probably be happy about that. So let's this get on with This is those. Yellow Sea Claw Batman from 1995 and of course he's missing a few pieces they all are when I get him like this he's about a four inch figure so somebody must have had a little bit of a Batman collection because these are all in the same bag again 1995 yellow claw Batman then there was this 1995 let me get him to stand up come on baby this 1995 purple and green uh, this is from Batman forever and this is called the Batarang Batman. On his back is a dial, and on his right shoulder, a Batarang goes in there, and you move the wheel, and the Batarang flips around. Also in that bag was this, 1993 Infrared Batman. And basically, that's all he is, is Infrared Batman, 1993. I'm going to back these guys up just a touch here. Hopefully, they'll stay standing. If not, they're going to... Oh, oh, watch your big stupid fingers there, Mike. I'll put that guy there because I got two more to show you. An infrared stand up, buddy. So there we go. And then this is a 1994 green suited Batman. And like I say, you can be assured that all of the accessories are missing for these. <laughs> when, you, when you find them in these bags, that's pretty much happening. And the last guy was this uh, 1996 uh, orange Batman. Uh, this was the orange and gray. Bruce Wayne Batman, or as I like to refer to him as the construction suit Batman, because that's what he looks like he's wearing, his construction suit. So again, not a lot of uh, secondhand stuff this tour, but just enough to make it uh, a little diverse and a little cool, 
And uh, we are going to close this baby out, so hold on That's a it, second. That's ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of Forgotten Figures and Weekly Roundup, episode number 34. Let me know which was your favorite. Um, my favorite... Hmm, hard to say which one was my favorite on this one. Um, probably just because of the uh, the rarity of it. I'm going to go with this Legends uh, Iron Man that I got from Mike at Meritoys and Games. Thank you very much, Mike. And really enjoyed these uh, these uh, Wizard magazines. Uh, that is all. This, again, is... I try to do this at least twice a month. I usually take two trips in. Sometimes I, t I tape the last one. Like I say, there's a card for it back there. Have a look at my little hunting deal. I'm not so good at hunting videos. I don't know. But I'll get better, trust me. Uh, and uh, again, I have an Instagram, uh, Mike underscore area underscore 51. Stop in. Try to post something every day. It's a great community. So many cool people in there. Just really super enjoying it. And um, again, just uh, toy hunting and having a great old time getting ready for the RC season. Uh, I've got a couple of RC repair videos coming. And uh, that is it. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, put up some of your stuff so we can see what you're collecting, what you're moving on. Anyways, Area 51, Home of the Superheroes. We will catch you all on the next one. Have a great day. Stay safe. And we'll see you all again later. Bye-bye.